Hi there, I'm Katya. Welcome to your session today. I had quite a few requests to work on the splits. So this will be our peak post today. We're going to work towards the splits. But please be reassured and know that the journey getting there is as important and beneficial to help and improve your flexibility than doing the actual pose. Okay? I do have a couple of blocks, so you might find something, if you have blocks or something to put your hands on at the end, might be really helpful. Um, and then we'll just begin. So come down onto your mats. Please sit with your legs in a easy cross-legged position. Have your right leg in front of your left leg. If you cross your shins so that your feet can be more or less under your knees, that would be a really great starting point. Sit up nice and tall. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose. And let's exhale out through the mouth. One more time, inhale, breathing in through the nose. And exhale, arriving in your bodies on your mat. Now continue to breathe through the nose. Inhale, stretch your arms up. And exhale, release your arms down. Inhale, arms reaching up, lengthen out of your waist. Exhale, lower your arms down. Inhale, stretch your arms up. And then exhale, stretch forwards over your shins. Release your hands, release your elbows and your head. And just take a moment here to settle. Feeling hopefully a stretch in your hips, maybe across your lower back. Inhale. Exhale. Take your body over to the left diagonal of your left leg. Keep reaching your right arm out nice and long. Direct your breathing all the way down into your right side hip and the right side lower back. One more beautiful breath here. Exhale. Bring yourself all the way back to the center. Roll yourself back up. Take your left arm up, exhale, stretch up and over into a simple side bend. Now stretching out through the left side of your body. Feel that beautiful reach through the side. And lift yourself all the way up. We're going to change the cross of your legs. Extend your legs out forwards for a moment. And then cross your legs the other way. Left shin in front of your right shin. Try and cross so that your feet again under your knees. Inhale, take a big stretch with the arms up. Exhale, release the arms down. Two more times. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, releasing. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen forwards over your shins, stretching out long, release the head, the neck, the shoulders. Let's continue to breathe, connecting our breath with our movements. Lean over your right leg, stretching your left arm up forwards along that diagonal. And now visualize your breath traveling all the way down into your left hip, the left side of your lower back, the left side waist. Come back to the center. Roll yourself all the way up. Take your right arm up, inhale. Exhale, beautiful side stretch. Your right sit bone still on the mat as you reach over. One more inhale and exhale. Lift yourself all the way up. From here, make your way onto your hands and knees. Place your hands under your shoulders or slightly in front of your shoulders, stretching your fingers out nice and long. Tuck the toes under. We'll come into our first downward facing dog. Just stretching out 
through the legs. Feel free to move here, walking on the spot or swaying your hips side to side. Just finding that beautiful reach, opening up your calves, the back of the knees and your hamstrings. your knees all the way down to the mat and then step your right foot forwards between your hands nice big step forwards lift yourself up let's check the position hips facing to your front front of your mat lengthen your tailbone down so when we do our splits we need to make sure we open up and stretch out the hip flexor of the back leg so that we can try and keep our hips as square as possible when it comes to the full pose so for now let's focus on that beautiful opening, rest your right hand on your right thigh, stretch your left arm up and just add a mini side bend over towards your right side. Focusing on that stretch across the front of your left leg, the waist all the way up to your left fingertips. Lift yourself all the way up, bring your hands down. So here is where you can use your blocks. If you use any or anything else, you can put your blocks here. And from here, we're going to rock back into our runner stretch. So another lovely hamstring stretch here now. And rock forwards. And this time, just letting your hips sink forwards and down. Drawing your hips back, right hip pulls back, lift up your toes and rocking forwards. Just a few times. We're oiling into the hips, helping with the circulation. Just gradually warming and stretching out. Next time your hips are back, stay here. See if you can inhale, lift the chest and lengthen a little bit more. And then exhale, folding over that leg. Now remember to breathe, pay attention, always respect and honor your body. If it feels too much, back off a little bit. It's your body, you live in it, so please take great care. Rock yourself gently forwards. Now wiggle your right foot a little bit more over towards the left side of your mat. From here, we're going to draw the hips back again and we're going to try and point our right toes to the right. This is quite a big stretch there. So just notice where your stretch has landed now. Breathing here, keep pointing your toes to the right side and you're in a turnout position. You're getting a slightly different part now. One more inhale. Exhale. Lovely, rock yourself forwards. And then from here, we're going to make our way into our pigeon pose, so an outer hip stretch. So just be really mindful with your knee, bringing your right knee forwards and towards your right wrist, stretching your left leg back. Again, to keep your hips square, you can place a block, a blanket, a cushion under your right sit bone, just to help keep your hips nice and square. Inhale here. Exhale, come down onto your elbows for a moment. You might choose, this is a great place here, that's enough for you, this feels really good. Or you can stretch all the way down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Just one more inhale. And exhale. Good, let's bring the hands all the way back up. Tuck your back toes under and then lift yourself up and back, downward facing dog. Good. Downward dog again, give yourself permission to be still, to move around, whatever it is you need to do. Just to bring your body back for a moment to symmetry. Good. Let's do the same on the second side. Knees down. Step your left foot forwards. Nice big step forwards and from here lift yourself up. 
lengthening your tailbone down. Feel the front of the hips lifting and looking for that good stretch now in the front of your right hip. Lean gently forwards. Breathe. And we'll take the right arm up this time and add a mini side bend. It's increasing that lengthening sensation through the right side of your body. One more inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift yourself up. Exhale, bring your hands down either onto your mat or if you have any support, put your hands on there. From here, drawing your hips back, draw the left hip back, working on lengthening your left leg. Inhale, let your hips sink forwards. Here we're going with gravity. Exhale, draw the hips back, bow over your leg. Rocking forwards and rocking back. Rocking forwards. And back, staying in your runner stretch. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, folding over your leg. Just check that you're bringing your little toe up towards you. Breathe in. And breathe out. Practicing that compassion for your body, not to force anything. Be very respectful to your body. And then lift yourself up, bend your knee a little bit. Now walk your foot over towards your right side. And now come back with those hips again. One more time, try and lengthen your leg. You're turning your toes and knee to the left now. Good. And again, just being mindful here. Breathe. This might feel a little bit different to the previous version. Relax in your shoulders. Lovely. Lift yourself up again. You're going to come forwards and carefully transition into your pigeon pose. So here be really mindful with your knee. Bring the left knee out to the side, next to the left wrist. Stretch the back leg. Hips as square as possible. If you need to be higher up, put something under your left sit bone just to give it that really good support. Breathe in. And then breathe out. Just make your way slowly down. You can stop where you need to stop, where it feels right for you. Remember, there's no competition. It's not even competition with yourself. Just exploring your edges and respecting any points where you need to back off. Lift yourself slowly all the way back up. And once more, we'll meet in downward facing dog. So step your leg all the way back. Organize your hands, stretch out your fingers. Downward facing dog. This time, inhale, rock forwards into plank. Exhale, lower yourself all the way down into your tummy. Take your hands out in front of you on your fingertips. We're going to inhale. Lengthening out forwards, lift your head and chest into beautiful cobra pose. Exhale, slowly lower yourself down. Feel free to move your fingers into different positions if you find it's more helpful for you in a different place. Inhale, rising up again. And exhale, lower down. And one more time. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, lower down. Now we're going to catch our right foot and stretch out our quads. Hold onto your right foot. You can rest your head down onto your left arm. Or if you like, you can lift yourself up and this way draw your right foot in close. Keep anchoring down through your pubic bone. 
so that your lower back is supported and protected. Release the leg and do the same on the other side, either lying flat down or up on your elbow and catching your foot, drawing your foot in towards you. Big stretch for your quads. Well done. Release it. Rest all the way down. Hands near the chest. Inhale, come up into your cobra. And exhale, let's take one breath in. Child's pose. Inhale here. And exhale. Rock yourself forwards. Breathe in. Breathe out. Tuck the toes under. Send your hips back and up. Downward facing dog. Just check that your feet are hip distance apart, parallel feet. Encourage your heels to reach down. Sit bones lifting up high, your spine, your back lengthening. Walking your hands all the way back to your feet. Again, if your hands can easily touch the floor, Keep them right on the mat. If your hands not quite easily touch the floor, grab your block. Put your hand on the block. From here, bending your right leg, left leg straight, and then see if you can reach your left hand up towards the sky. Press into your left big toe joint and focus on that opening of the back of your left leg. Pay attention to your spine lengthening, the crown of the head reaching forwards. Release, fall down, switch sides, bend your left leg, right leg lengthening, straightening, left hand on the floor on your block, right arm is reaching up, crown of the head is reaching forwards as you gently turn. Press your right big toe joint down. Inhale. Exhale. Be mindful of your neck. You can always look down. And release it down. Coming into your forward fold. Either the hands down onto the mat. Maybe holding onto your calves. And drawing yourself in towards your legs. Lengthening the crown of the head forwards. Slowly soften your knees, draw the abdominals in, begin to roll yourself all the way up to standing. Peel all the way up, lift your shoulders up to your ears and roll your shoulders all the way back and down. Now let's walk forwards near the front edge of the mat. Feet can be together or hip distance apart. Take a nice deep breath in, inhale, reach up. And exhale, draw your palms towards your heart. Inhale, arms go up. We go into half sun salutations. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, come halfway up. Hands to shins, lengthen your spine. Exhale, hands to the mat or holding your calves. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. Press your feet down, lengthen and lift. Exhale, hands to the heart. Repeat. Inhale, big stretch up. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, lift as high as your hips. Shoulders pull back. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, rise up to standing. Lengthen your tail down. Exhale, hands to the heart. One more. Inhale, big stretch up. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, halfway. This time, bend your knees, fingertips on the mat. Take a big step with your left leg back. Ground through your feet. When you're ready, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, draw your hands to the heart. So here we are again, focusing on opening up the hip flexor of the back leg. So try and lift up your hips a little bit higher. Keep lengthening the tail down. So if you're curling your tail forwards, 
and then look for that stretch. So you might not be going as low in order to get that stretch quite high up here. Breathe in and breathe out. Now we're going to shift our weight over the front leg, pick up your back leg and hug it in towards your chest. Bring it all the way in and just give it a really nice squeeze in. Lift up your chest, lengthen out of your standing leg. Inhale. Exhale here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Step your foot back, slightly shorter stride, turning your heel down. Straighten your front leg. Inhale, reach your arms up. And then as you exhale, keep drawing your right hip back as you take a big long stretch over your front leg. Hands either on the floor or again grab your support and place your hands onto your blocks or what you're using. Lengthen your spine, inhale. And then exhale, reaching with the crown of the head forwards. Stretch it out. Keep squaring up your hips by drawing your right hip back. Optional, you may lift your right toes up towards you. Breathe here. Release the toes down if they're lifted. From here, spinning your toes to face the long side of your mat. Walk your hands around and we'll turn the toes out about 45 degree and then bending your left leg and sink your hips down as low as it's comfortable for you. Inhale, exhale, switch over to the other side. So now we're getting a little bit of the inner thighs as well. Inhale and exhale over. Inhale. Go back to your right side, spin your hips, your body facing the front edge of your mat. You're in a low lunge now, reach up long through the back heel, the front shin, and we'll step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, rock to plank. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, plank pose, waking up our center and downward dog. Last one, rock to plank and downward facing dog. Walk your feet all the way forwards to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift yourself halfway up. Exhale, dive forwards. Inhale, rise up to standing. Stretch your arms up tall, tall, tall. Exhale, hands to the heart. Close your eyes, breath in here. And exhale. Left side. Inhale, big stretch up. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, right leg steps back into your lunge. Ground through your feet. When you're ready, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart. So lifting up a little bit, thinking about the tailbone reaching down the front of the hips lifting, focusing now again on the hip flexor, the front of your right hip. Engage your core, drawing the abdominals in. One more inhale, exhale. Shifting your weight forwards over your front leg, pick up your back leg and for a moment, gently hug it in towards your chest. Finding your balance, steady gaze at the point your eye height. And stepping your right leg back, shorter stride, Right heel comes down to the mat. Straighten your front leg. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, lengthen up forwards over your front leg. Hands can come to the mat 
or you may put your hands on your blocks. Inhale, lift the chest one more time. Think about moving the rib cage forwards over your thigh and then stretch a little bit further. Breathe in. Breathe out. Try and relax your neck. Relax your face, your jaw, your eyes. Lifting your head, your chest gently, soften the front knee. Walk your hands all the way around to the long side of your mat. Turn out your feet 45 degrees. Bending your right leg, let your hips sink down as low as is comfortable for you. Moving across to the other side, you can stay nice and low and reaching over. And again, moving across and reaching over. Moving across, come all the way facing the front edge of the mat, lifting the back heel in your low lunge now. Feel the length from your back heel to the crown of the head. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, rock into plank. Exhale, lower down. Roll over your toes, upward facing dog. Lift up, hips, knees off the ground. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stay here or take a moment in child's pose. In downward dog, head just between your arms, nice and relaxed. With your hands, keep pushing the ground away. Keep focusing on lengthening the back of the legs. Bring your knees down. Step your right foot around your right hand into lizard pose. Turn your toes slightly out. And then see if you can straighten your back leg. Stay here. If this is too much, you can bring your back knee back down, of course. Or with the leg straight, start to gently rock forwards. And then rock back to the heel. Rocking forwards. And rock back and rock forwards and back. Bring your knee all the way down now, if it was up, relax your toes. And gently with your right hand, press against your right thigh. Breathing here. Inhale. And exhale. Reach back and see if you can catch your back foot. So now we can get into our quads as well again. So this is a little bit stronger compared to the one we did earlier lying on our front. Releasing. Now coming one more time through your pigeon pose walking your right foot gently over to the left side and then come back and bring that right knee down to the right wrist so just where we were before just take a breath here inhale exhale this time we're going to lean over to the right so we can swing the back leg all the way around crossing it over lifting up the chest, try and root your left sit bone down and then coming into a twist. Adha Matsyantrasana. One more inhale. Exhale. Release your twist and then reversing the movement, swinging your top leg all the way back will meet in downward facing dog. Inhale. And exhale. Great, step your left foot around your left wrist for your lizard pose. So you can always bring your back knee down. If you get a better stretch here, 
or you can keep your back leg straight. We gently rock forwards, inhale, just a little bit, and exhale, push back through the heel. Inhale, rock forwards, exhale, press back. Just a couple more times on your own. Then lower your back knee down. Now gently with your left hand, press the thigh gently out. Lean with the chest away from it. You can always stay here. Or reach with your hand back, catching your back foot. Drawing the back foot in, finding that stretch. You can keep turning your chest towards your leg or you can also try as a variation facing down. So see what works best for you where you get a good stretch. And then release it, letting go carefully, bringing your left foot across towards your right hand. Walk it slightly back as well and make your way one more time into your pigeon pose. We're staying upright this time, just a breath here, inhale. And exhale. And then we lean over to the left to swing the right leg all the way on top. Sit yourself up nice and tall, inhale. And then come into your twist. You can hold your knee and squeeze it in. You can bring your elbow to the outside. You can bind if you know how to bind. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more inhale. And exhale. Again, unwind, face forwards. And this time we'll just take a moment to lie down onto our back. Hug your right leg in towards you and then hug your left knee in towards you. Let's take a moment here, settling. Bring your left foot back down to the ground. Come into a happy baby pose with your right leg. So holding the outer edge of your foot or you might hold the inner heel. They both work really well right now. Drawing your right knee down. Let your left knee open out to the side. Breathe here and breathe out. Stay as you are for a little bit longer or you can try and stretch your right leg out to the side. And then you can bend it back in. You just have a little play here, extending the leg perhaps and folding it back in. One more extending it and bring it in. From here, let go of your foot, hug the knee into the center, lift your left knee up. We'll stretch the right leg up. We're going to curl up and just extending the left leg down. See how high can you walk your hands to draw that right leg in towards you. One more breath here. And then release. Relax your foot and stretch your leg all the way down. Just take a moment here, inhale, and exhale. Good, bending your right leg, repeat. Happy baby pose on your left side. So holding either the outer edge of your foot, or if it works better, the inner heel. Allow the right knee to open, and just encouraging that left thigh to draw down to the floor beside you. Staying here, try and have your pelvis as square as possible. Good, now that might be plenty, just stay here and breathe. If you do have a little bit more movement, a little bit more space, you can stretch your leg out to the side and bring your leg back in. You might like to stretch your leg out to the side and bring your leg in. One more, out, and in. Bring both knees into the center, let go of your foot. 
hug your left leg in. Now stretch your left leg straight up to the sky. Lift up your head. Climb your hands up as high as you can get. Your calf, your ankle, your foot. Stretch your right leg away. Feel that big stretch to your hamstrings. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. And breathe out. Release. Hug your legs in towards you. Well done. And then rock yourself all the way up. And make your way onto your hands and knees. Here we are. We're going to have an attempt at our splits now. So step your right foot forwards. Now the first one, we're going to take our leg onto a slight diagonal out to the right side. Okay. You'll see this is a little bit more accessible. It's a really good way of learning to do the splits. So you might grab your support, your blocks, or maybe your books. Again, if you have a cushion or a rolled up blanket, that also could be really good for you to try and rest into if you're quite low already, but not quite there yet. So from here, begin to walk your right foot to the right side corner of your mat. Just go gently as far as you can go and then maybe inch your back leg slightly back. You'll just take your time. Please absolutely respect your body and listen and stop where you need to stop. So this takes a long practice to get there. But just remember, just because you somebody can do the splits that doesn't mean they're necessarily a wiser person. Okay, so just remember, it's just the pose. Breathe. Breathing. Keep encouraging that back hip to spin forwards. That's why we did all these hip flex openings. So you're nice and square. And we're going to lift ourselves carefully up. Good, just have a little moment. And we'll do one more. So this time, if you really like this version, just repeat this version with your leg out to the side again, just very slightly at an angle. Or if you want to have a go with your leg going straight out in front of you, here we go. So again, take your time, use your blocks, maybe prop up something under your hips so you can rest into it. There's no rush. You might find some days you can go more further down than other days. Again, that's just normal. Just being patient. Now, if you're really comfortable resting down, then you can take a couple times, let your body release over your leg. And roll yourself up, wave like movement. And folding over your leg. And roll yourself up. And then from here, very slowly, make your way back up. Bring your back leg in. And then bend your front leg and step it all the way back. Good. Take just a short moment in child's pose. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. Lift yourself up. So luckily we only have two legs. We got to do our second side now. So step your left foot forwards. Let's start with your leg going out onto a slight diagonal to the left, left side corner of your mat. Grab your blocks perhaps and then start to walk your foot forwards. And inch your back leg back. Keep spinning your hips facing forward, so it's very easy to let that back hip open. Stay here. Again, notice the two sides might be different. One side might be slightly more accessible than the other side. Let's take your time. Breathe in. Breathe out. Notice your shoulders. Can we relax them down a little bit more? Doing really great. We're going to come out of it carefully. Lift your hips up. Back leg inches in. Front leg comes in. 
Good. Rest here. Take a moment. Inhale. Exhale. Second go. You might like to stick with the diagonal, leg out to the diagonal slightly, or take your leg out in front of you now. And again, just explore your edge, but totally respect where you need to stop. If you can comfortably sit all the way down, we can take a gentle wave with our trunk coming forwards and come back up and coming forwards and coming up. Let's slowly, carefully make our way out of this. So lift yourself up. And again, make your way into child's pose. Sit back, breathe in. And breathe out. Wonderful. From here, we're going to come around, stretch your legs out in front of you. And we'll lie down onto our backs. You can move your props out of the way. Hug your knees in towards you. Or just take a gentle twist, your knees over towards your right side. Totally release now, letting go. Relaxing the ankles, the feet. Now bring your knees back up, both knees over to your left side, simple twist. Stretching out through your right arm, right shoulder. Bring yourself all the way back up and bring your feet down to the mat, please. Knees are bent, feet aligned with your hips, arms beside you. And just super gentle, just a really gentle, gentle bridge pose. Lifting your hips up, just gently re-engaging your glutes, your hamstrings, muscles. We've been stretching a lot, feel them strong. And then come slowly all the way down. From here, stretch your legs out. We'll just take a moment to relax our body. So finding a really comfortable place for you. If it's more relaxing for you to have your legs bent, you can bend your knees. Your arms resting beside you with your palms up. Or you might prefer resting your hands onto your belly. Relax your shoulders, feel the back of the head resting into the ground. Let's take a nice deep breath in through the nose and sigh out through the mouth. Inhaling through the nose, exhale, let go. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Now allow your breath just to return to its natural pattern. All there is left to be done is to relax, to let go, to absorb your practice, your efforts. And just taking this moment to yourself. You can stay here for as long as it's comfortable for you, as long as you have time for and you enjoy. If you're ready to come out of here, begin to wiggle your toes and fingers. Awaken your body, give yourself a gentle stretch. Draw your knees in towards you. And roll yourself into your side. Bring yourself up into a comfortable seat. Find your beautiful tall spine. Crown of the head reaching up towards the sky. 
We'll take one last big stretch with the arms up, inhale. Exhale, draw your palms down, bow your head to your heart, being grateful for our practice today. Thank you very much for being here with me. Have a lovely rest of your day.